Seated. This is the state versus Leonardo Francisco Blundo, RCR 2023-124-588. Council, please state your names for the record. Robert Glennon, uh, Esmeralda County District Attorney and Special Attorney for NICAP. Thank you. Good morning, Your Honor. Paolo Armeni on behalf of Leo Blendo. Okay. Good morning. Thank you for coming for this last uh, status hearing. Um, let me check one thing with my clerk. Okay. Uh, I was checking with my clerk. I asked her to verify that you all received copies of the juror information. Uh, the copy that I was able to access and print out um, had the main list on the first two pages of all the jurors and then the, the questionnaires uh, were very limited and not not full in what I got. I wanted to make sure that whether or not you got a, a full set related to each juror and if you Okay. Um, none by the state. If you emailed it, it might be in my email, and I haven't checked yet. Okay. So Your, just Your Honor, I did receive something, but I, I'm not in my office to double check it. I thought it was just a list of names. I don't re recall it being questionnaires. Okay. Um, Ms. Clark, you just heard something? Yeah, she's just replied. She said the rest of the jurors submitted online questionnaires. Um, so she'll assist me in pulling them after the hearing. Okay. So I guess what what we had emailed each of you earlier um, had the list of names and then some handwritten questionnaires. They had the option to do handwritten or online. Apparently the onlines didn't make it in the packet. So we'll get those to you as soon as possible. Uh, I thank you for uh, <coughs> your patience on that. Um, and then going forward uh, with the trial, I just had a few, few questions. Uh, one of them, the criminal comp complaint, reads that it's in and for the, uh, I think, township of Pahrump County of Nye, something like that. Um, the clerk usually reads the complaint. Uh, I was frankly just thinking of having her state this trial is being held in and just read it from there or just skipping that, that top portion of the header um, to avoid any, any confusion or speculation by the jurors. So I, I don't know what your thoughts are on that. Um, Ms. Armani? Your Honor, I'm just thinking that I, I believe that part of the elements have to believe that, that the crime actually occurred in Nye County. Correct. Correct so in the I, body of the crime, but just at the very top of the document before it says State of Nevada versus Mr. Blundo, at the very, very top, um, just that caption in the Justice Court in and for the, the township, either leaving it out or just simply maybe putting a phrase in front of it, you know, this trial is being held in, but the, the yes, definitely the, the body of the complaint would remain the same. Uh, jurisdiction have to be proven that way for the, the crime's location. Uh, I would defer to Ms. Armani. Okay. Uh, I don't mind either way. I, I have no objection with the court saying this trial is being held in. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll insert something to that effect. And then that led to a Second question, um, because it's been moved and it's uh, the, uh, they'll have the Pahrump and Nye County language in there. I, uh, most of them probably haven't served, aren't as versed in jurisdiction and the nuances. They probably won't, won't notice. Um, so I was happy to leave that alone, but it made me think about uh, jury selection and then presentation of evidence regarding Mr. Blundo. Uh, and his uh, service as a prior service as a commissioner, if that was going to come up in any way, shape, or form, if it was relevant, you know, many of the witnesses will talk about their background just loosening up their tongues and getting them going. Um, so I didn't know if that was coming in or if there was objections to that. Um, um, it's, it's, I can see good and bad both ways for both sides. Um. Robert Glennon for uh, the state. We, the defense attorney and I, have to sit down and talk about what may or may not be redacted from the um, video, stone? video, the body cam video. What? And I meant to do it, but I haven't gotten to it yet, so we have to do it today, I guess. Um, well, maybe, 
that would tell us what we can, what we would worry about, right? So I, I did, in fact, send an email last week uh, suggesting my redactions, but to the court's point, I did not touch on the commissioner portion. Um, I know that there is some discussion within the body cam about that, but I don't know that it's that important. I, I think if the court will indulge us when we do voir dire, I may ask just general questions about politics just to see if there's any knowledge of Leo, Mr. Blendo, but I don't, I have no intention of getting into it specifically. Okay. Any problem with that if she does that, Mr. Blendo? No, it's, I, th I think that's fine. We, we have to fight about some other things, not really that. Okay. So. Um, then... Oh, the uh, the complaint, I believe, uh, and the jury verdict form indicates uh, first offense in it. I was going to have the clerk not read that. I don't think it's relevant that it's first, second, third. Um, uh, any problem with that, uh, Ms. Armini? No, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, what else did I have in my notes? <clears throat> uh, witnesses? If the most recent uh, witness information, it looks like the state has Ms. Blundo and I believe Toll or Tolly, and then uh, the defense, I think, has Tolly, Williamson, and Murphy uh, as potentials. Um, are those the only ones that we would list, um, or do you want more names for the jury to look at just in case they know somebody? I can't think of any. Those are... I yeah, I can't think of anything either. Is the court going to want us? I know different courts ask different ways, or is it your preference to have us list all the attorneys in our office? Um, for if with, with both of you being from out of town, I I wasn't wasn't going to go there. Just prosecutors, Mr. Glennon, defenses, Ms. Armeni yeah, type I, thing. I, I know four people in Reno, so I don't think that. One of those will be on the jury. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I always ask, do you know these these individuals? If it was a local DA, you know, if uh, is it your, uh, you know, do you know other DAs or defense attorneys, um, you know, if it's a public defender type thing? What what are your thoughts or preferences, Mr. Armini? I, I don't necessarily have a preference, Your Honor. Clark Hill's not in Reno. I mean, I do know some people in Reno, but we can just, if they don't know me, I think that should be sufficient. Okay. Uh, then uh, I, I kept going back in my mind over the the proposed Wadir. I'll have I'll have a generic one that'll cover a lot of these. Um, frankly, I'm a little on the fence on the on the bumper sticker thing. I'll probably let it roll. Um, I'll let you know if I change my mind and, and say no. Um, I'm a little concerned about what does a domestic dispute mean to you. Uh, I, I assume that the parties are getting at the difference between, you know, an argument versus versus hands-on force, you know, force or violence. Um, so perhaps phrasing it a little different because I, I I see the value in the question, but I'm just a little concerned in what does it mean to you. Um, although it is open-ended and can draw answers, so I, I I'll let you know on those two if I have any either rewordings or concerns tomorrow uh, and then uh, 25 um, the reasonable doubt one um, I'll read them the definition uh, in in my my portion of the wadir before you two go but the the, the what does that mean to you uh, reasonable doubt um, um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go down that road um, um, we can point out differences between civil, criminal, uh, you know, if so jurors have served before, uh, that there's a definition, they'll be bound by it, they have to agree to it, that type of thing. But, but what does that mean to you? Invites uh, going down the road of, of quantifying and examples and case-specific type of issues. So, so questions on, on reasonable doubt and it needing to be proven in the state's burden and perhaps comparisons to to civil things like that is would be okay, but, but what is that an open ended? What does reasonable doubt mean to you? I, 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 I won't be allowing, uh, and that's 
That's about it. That's everything I had. I've kind of backed off on, on my comments the other day since I've been able to think about it. And thank you for your patience. Um, same thing with the jury instructions. I'd misread uh, one, or, one or two of them, so there really aren't any meaningful changes. That first offense will, will take out and change. You know, my name will take out and change. I don't think uh, the verdict form, it's fine. I, I don't see a problem with that, thinking about it more. And then there was one near the end um, that I, I, I frankly misread, where it was talking about the jurors communicating with each other. And when I read it again, it, it was clearly with other people, not with one another. I just wanted to, when I first read it, I thought they might be tempted or thought that they could communicate by text with each other during deliberations. And that, that'd be a big no, but it's not phrased that way. So. Um, so thank you for your, your indulgence in the last uh, few days, but that's frankly all I've got right now. We'll get the, the additional juror information to you. Um, um, actually, one other thought. Uh, Mr. Babcock is our lead bailiff. Uh, you weren't in a hearing the other day, and I informed counsel because they're out of state that if it was possible, we'd try and make at least uh, one or two of these rooms out here in the in, in the area available for them. Is is that possible with yeah, the caseload just to lock lock one of them off or put signs up? You know. Yeah, we'll do we not can use some security barrier tape and reserve it for them. Okay, so you'll have some some room to work out uh, off of our main lobby. Um, we'll, we'll figure out some logistics with that and whether or not anything can be kept, but we'll, we'll make some rooms available for you. Um, uh, Mr. Glennon? Um, I think there's one last thing. Uh, Ms. Armani and I are going to talk about how to redact the uh, body cam video. Now remember, it may or may not come in depending on what the uh, witness says, you know, whether it's prior inconsistent or, what, or not. Um, but if we do not agree on anything, do we need to come in here maybe at 8 o'clock to figure out, or 7.30 or whatever, to figure out, to have your honor figure out the ones we don't agree on? I'm, I'm fine with that, with whatever the parties need. What do you think? Uh, Ms. Armini, uh, thoughts on... Oh, I'm sorry. That's fine. I can be in court at 8 o'clock. I have a flight this afternoon, so if the court wishes us to be there at 8 a.m., I can be there at 8 a.m. And then second, in okay. terms of actually having to play the tape, I don't see any uh, HDMI cords or anything, so... We, we do, um, do you have a laptop to play it on? Yeah, not a good laptop, but a laptop. Um, do you have a flash drive? Yes, and a flash drive. We can, we can supply a laptop? Yeah, sure. So if we have to redact yeah. stuff, now, I don't know, oh, you know, are we going to give you, if you have the flash drive and you play it, are we going to give you the places where you skip forward or? So no, we don't control that just because um, you, you'd have to do that. Oh, we do yeah. it from our, but, um, from our laptop. But if we okay. give you a laptop, you can stop and play on your own and it'll connect to this uh, section right here. Yeah. And I guess that's something else we can talk about before tomorrow. You're on. Okay. Uh, Okay. Uh, any, anything else, Mr. Glennon? No, Your Honor. Uh, Ms. Armeni, anything? No? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay. Uh, appreciate your time. Again, we'll get that complete juror list to you. I don't, I, I don't know why the, the electronic versions didn't marry up and come through, but we'll get those to you. And, uh, yeah, let's just shoot for 8 o'clock just to, to make sure we can use, make the best use of our time. Um, and then just, just triple-checking on the, the witnesses so we have the... The four right now that I'll I'll have my clerks put up on a board, a whiteboard, or, or something that the jurors can uh, look at to see if they know uh, know them. Uh, the original witness lists in the case that are that are historic had many more names, so we only want those four. Is that right? What about defendant, just in case? That's fine. I think the only additional name I had on my original witness list was the custodian of record for the 911 call, but we never got the 911 call, so okay. that's why I removed that, that person. I think the prior judge said we couldn't use it, so right. yeah. So Mr. Blunt... Well, because I never received it. Yeah, we <laughs> usually, usually don't put the defendant's name up there. If you wish him listed as a potential, that's 100% your call with him, but I, I usually don't do that. 
They're, are gonna, they're already going to hear his name if they know him, right? Right. I prefer him not to be on your list. Okay. So we won't list him as a witness. That, that's, a, that's a call that will be made after the state's evidence that's fair. by you. <laughs> okay. All right. Or my client. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes. Thank you. Correct. Uh, all right. Uh, anything else? Don't hesitate to reach out to the clerks to call us. They can uh, always get me by phone um, and whatever you need. Judge, I'm sorry. Are you in Judge Sullivan's courtroom? Uh, the courtrooms are fungible. We don't have assigned courtrooms. Oh. Uh, okay. We'll be down in in courtroom uh, E. Uh, e is the courtroom e. name. Uh, when you come to Reno Justice Court, uh, you'll go to the second floor. Um, turn to okay. the right is where Justice Court, Muni Court's to the left. But uh, when you come to Justice Court, it's the furthest courtroom to your right, E. It's the biggest one. We've got the 12-person jury box. Um, okay. So we just, we just move the placards. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 o'clock then uh, just, just to see if there's any, any issues we have to sort out. That's fair. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you.